What's up guys, so we're here doing another Killer Instinct character breakdown. Uh, the rest of the characters should be out in the next day or so. If it doesn't come out tonight, it should be out tomorrow. And then the day after we'll have some shenanigans. So uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy that and look forward to that. But uh, yeah, we're going to try to get all these character breakdowns out of the way. We're going to start with Thunder right now. Uh, Thunder is the first character that I'm doing. Uh, Thunder is the only grappler in this game. He's the main grappler. Uh, he's really slow as you can see by his walk speed right there. But uh, he has great normals, and uh, his command throw is really, really good. Uh, he has So he can play footsies well with his normals, and his command throw setups are really, really nice. He hits really hard, and uh, his instinct is really good. So uh, yeah, he's really awesome. So let's take a look at his normals here. Um, he only has one command normal, so we'll look at that too. But uh, he has a stand jab, crouch jab, and his crouch jab is the same speed as everybody else, four frames. Uh, his stand strong, which is okay, but his crouch strong is really good. Uh, it's very nice for playing footsies. Very nice tool. Uh, both of these normals you can play footsies with. Stand fierce, it's a little slower, but it actually has really nice range. And crouch fierce, which is an amazing anti-air. Crouching uh, heavy punch, really, really good anti-air. Uh, one of the best ones i found so far. So stand light kick right here. Has a lot of range. You can buffer it in anything. Uh, crouch light kick is really good too. Stand medium kick has a lot of range also. It's very easy to buffer stuff into a crouch medium kick. It has a little less range than his stand version. Uh, but obviously it's a low normal so that's good. Uh, stand heavy kick which is awesome. You can see it moves him forward there. So you can walk backwards and it'll still hit. And his sweep which is crouch heavy kick. Also very good as well. Very hard to punish and deal with. So yeah, he has really nice normals. Uh, his last normal is his command normal is forward heavy punch. Looks like this. It's very good normal. You can cancel it into whatever you want on block. Uh, you have all this time to hit confirm and see what you're doing. So really good normal. Uh, his jump normals, he has jump uh, light punch, jump medium punch, jump heavy punch, which is one of his best normals. Has a great hitbox. Stuffs a lot of things. Uh, jump light kick, jump medium kick, which is his main cross up tool. And jump heavy kick. Okay, so let's turn these hitboxes off, and we'll talk a little bit about his special moves. So, uh, he has the sort of standard opener special move that looks like this, right? That's like his one of his main moves. Uh, it's called his triple axe, and it's uh, pretty safe on the light and medium punch versions, like minus one, and whoops, minus two, really good. His heavy punch one is slightly more unsafe, but it does more damage, and it hits three times instead of twice. So if your opponent tries to shadow counter them, shadow counter you, it'll blow them up. Um, so yeah, really nice move, really good for pressure. Uh, he also has his command throw, which is quarter circle back and punches. The thing about his command throw is that you have to decide which one to use, right? So like from a range like this, his 10 or uh, his light punch command throw starts up at 10 frames. Uh, but the thing is, it doesn't have the range, you see. But if you do your heavy punch command throw, it starts up in 17 frames, but uh, it'll grab him from that distance, right? So you have to decide which command throw you want to use based on the speed and distance uh, of each one, right? So that was his medium punch one. He has 13 frames to start up. Has a little bit more range than the light punch. So, you know, from a distance like this, the medium punch one won't hit, but the heavy punch will. You just have to decide if you want to sacrifice the speed for the distance, right? So if you can't reach him from where you are, then obviously you have to go for a heavier version of the command throw. Um, he has this uh, quarter circle back kick move, right? This little... Uh, he kind of jumps back at the low starter. The thing that's really nice about this move is that it moves him back so much when he does it that uh, it's hard to it's hard to poke him, right? If you stick out a normal when he does this, then uh, you take a lot of damage. Like you'll get hit. It's really good. It's sort of like Dudley's ducking um, swoosh move in you know Street Fighter, sort of similar to it. I can't think of the name of it. Short swing blow. That's what it is. Uh, it's sort of similar to short swing. Uh, it, it just moves him back, and he can start a combo off of it, right? He can do auto doubles and everything like that. So it's a really good move to, to throw out in footsies. You can also use it to combo and everything like that. So it's a really great tool. And his last thing is his uppercut. It looks like that. Uh, it's projectile and vulnerable, like it says right there. Um, but it also has a unique property. that It's like Alex's um, his stomp in third strike. He has the same kind of property where you can hit heavy kick. You do that stomp at the end. And you can choose to do it really late. Like, you can do it, as you saw there, like, I was super late in the animation, so... Even on block, you can do it super late like that. So if your opponent tries to punish it, there's a mind game behind it. So it's really, really hard to deal with, and it's really good. He can do the same thing out of his uppercut super, actually. He can cancel it into stomp late like that. So, uh, same kind of idea. Really cool. And uh, it has a really nice hitbox as well. It's really unsafe, but it's, the mind game behind it's really good for Thunder. It makes it so that you have to respect his uppercut. Um, okay, so let's talk about his special moves, uh, or his supers. So he has his shadow triple axe, looks like that. Hits like five times, I think it is. And, uh, you know, you use that in supers. He also has his shadow, um, short swing type move. It's a low as well. 
Um, he has Uppercut that I showed you guys, and he has Command Throw. Now, the thing about his Command Throw Super is it starts up in five frames. And um, it's like, as you can see there on the on the right, it's invulnerable to like everything. It goes through everything. This thing is really good. It's five frames, super fast. You also get a combo after. I don't know what his max damage is, but you can get like 30%. You can also use it to combo from, so it's really good. Uh, it's, it's one of his best like tools to get escape pressure as well as set it up. So like if you just like walk in, you can just like command throw super and uh, whoops. I can't do command throw super I guess on pad, but it's really good. It has super far range. Uh, I think it's about as far as his heavy command throw. So like right here. Oh, damn it. I can do it, I promise. But yeah, it has super far range. Like it, it'll catch you no matter where you are. It's really, really good. And it's really good when you combine it with his instinct. Now his instinct is really unique. Uh, so as I mentioned, you know, Thunder's walk speed is really bad. And his back dash, you can see, it's not really the best. And his forward dash is kind of slow as well. But when he instincts, he becomes significantly faster. Uh, he can also he also has these birds you see there. So it's it's really uh, it's hard to see where he is. And he can also gains the ability to jump through people or dash through people. So you can like dash through super and stuff. It creates new mix-ups for him. It's actually really good. Um, his instinct is really nice because obviously Thunder is a slow character and it gives him the opportunity to get in and stuff like that. So uh, it's really good. It's, like you can cancel it off of anything um, and just use it to go in. So it's really nice. Like let's say you do something like uppercut and then you do stomp and they block it. You can like uh, instant cancel, dash through and then like command throw them or something like that. You can go for some kind of mix up off of it. So Thunder's a really mix up heavy character. He has great Oki off his command throw. Like, you can do all kinds of setups. Like, if you take a step, you can decide if you want to cross up or not. Uh, it's like a 50-50 whether, you're, you know, you're going to actually do it and your opponent has to guess. Either way. As well as, you know, you can just do something, like, really tricky where you can just empty jump and do another command throw or something like that. So, Thunder's setups are really, really sick. Uh, he's a really awesome character. Has great footsies. A little slow, but his, trach or his uh, instinct sort of helps him out with that. Overall, he's a really fun character to play. He's really awesome. And uh, I love watching him he's one of my favorite characters to watch so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video learned a little bit about thunder um really awesome character and uh thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys again soon